Hi, I'm Sylvain Champoux. This is a Mitsubishi product presentation video. We are here today at Metalist Motorsports Park in Quebec, where many manufacturers come to test their vehicles in winter conditions. Over the next few minutes, we will be looking at the capabilities of Mitsubishi Super All-Wheel Control System. Over the years, Mitsubishi has earned a reputation of building vehicles with exceptional all-weather capabilities. In order to accomplish this, they take into consideration many things when engineering their vehicles. Every Mitsubishi is built to deliver exceptional driving capabilities and active safety technologies that complement drivers' ability. Let's take this Outlander on the track and see how the all-wheel control system performs. Super all-wheel control now is set at ECO. It's an all-wheel drive system, but now mostly the power is sent to the front wheels until wheel slippage is detected. Then power will be sent to the rear wheels for more stability. So here on the slalom in the ECO mode, I would say this will be probably the less efficient way to go around the slalom with more stability. So ECO mode will be the most fuel efficient for sure. Uh, sending power to the front, uh, but as soon as wheel slippage detected, then power will be sent to the rear wheel. So let's do it again. Here I'm in eco mode, super all wheel control eco mode in the slalom, and a little bit of understeer here. That's normal because of mostly power was sent to the front, but as soon as wheel slippage, then again it's sending power to the back. Now we'll try the slalom in normal mode. Normal mode will give you the best compromise between uh, efficiency and balance. So here we go. So already at the start, I feel more confident with better acceleration. So the system will adjust the power front to rear, rear to front, depending on what's happening if you're having a little slide. So already I feel I could carry a little more speed through the slalom compared to the eco mode and the car is more stable. Detect some problem, it will shift power front to rear, rear to front to keep the car very stable in the slot. Okay, now with my super all-wheel control system, the mode I'm choosing is snow. It's intended for very low grip surfaces like I'm driving now. It's uh, packed snow and ice, so it's very slippery. And that mode will allow me to transfer more rapidly power from front to rear for better performance and stability around the slalom. We're able to get a better pace in the slalom. I could really feel more shifting power back and forth and I could really feel in the slalom especially at the end that uh, vectoring torque. Outlander GT will have torque vectoring capacity at the front and helping the vehicle to uh, go around the cones. I really felt that in the last uh, few gates so let's try that again. Let's go through the gate and yeah I could really feel the system kicking in to really help the stability and increase the speed. So not only I'm having better stability, but also a better performance through the slalom. Finally, the last mode is the lock mode. This one will come automatically if you're stuck in snow or sand, and this is the most powerful mode in the all-wheel drive, shifting more power in the back wheels for, again, better performance. Let's uh, challenge it in the slalom here. 
and again I could feel the torque vectoring in the front helping the front to rotate so giving a very nice uh, interesting feeling around the corners typically when you try to increase speed on the slalom like this uh, at some point you will feel some understeer but the torque vectoring at the front axle on this super all-wheel control system was able to manage that pretty good I'm very impressed with the the speed I'm able to carry, it's a very low grip surface and it's pretty impressive what kind of performance I'm able to put throughout this slalom. Now let's take a look at the benefits of an ABS and ASC system. I'm driving now this Outlander GT equipped with super all-wheel control system. Because of this system, it's pretty easy to accelerate quickly to 70K like I'm doing now. But at that speed, in case something happened, you want good ABS like I have now to brake and steer around an obstacle if need be. This time, just to showcase how ABS is very amazing system, I will be braking without holding my steering wheel, and you will see that the car will just go straight. Hit the brakes, and the car is going pretty straight. Very amazing, even if it was a very uneven friction surface. So here we will do the uh, obstacle avoidance exercise, showing that with ABS, we are able to brake and steer at the same time for better control and safety. So here we go. I will accelerate to 60k, there will be an obstacle in front of me and hit the brake and steer to the right, one lane change to avoid as you could see. So there's a little vibration on the brake pedal, that's normal, it's telling you that you're braking to the limit of each tire. So let's do another run of ABS braking in the stop box and here we go. So there will be a yaw sensor as soon as it detects that the car is sliding, it just cut down a little bit engine power and apply the brake to one of the four wheels. So as you could see, the car was a lot easier to drive, nice and safely done with ABS. So now the ASC system is off and I will be coming into a corner with too much speed and the car will be uh, unstable having a little understeer and even maybe oversteer. So here we go, trying to make the corner, it's sliding, it's going all over the place. Okay, now AAC on, I will arrive at the same speed, but now the car will be a lot more stable, a lot easier to drive on. I'm arriving at the same speed, so I could feel the uh, system kick in a little bit, and as you could see, the car is very stable. Another nice feature is Hill Start Assist. It will maintain brake pressure for two seconds to avoid the vehicle to roll back while you transfer your foot from the brake pedal to the accelerator. Here we go, so I will be, I'm moving forward now and I'm uh, on the normal mode for the all-wheel drive. So let's stop here on the hill. And if I remove my foot, I remove it now. So one, two, three, four, the vehicles start rolling back. So let's try it again without waiting more than two seconds. So remove my foot now, the vehicle is still stable, give it a little gas and here I go, rolling forward without any roll back. RISE, or Reinforced Impact Safety Evolution, is Mitsubishi Motors' proprietary chassis design philosophy. While its intention is to provide a safer structure to occupants in the event of a collision, it also gives the vehicle a stiff structure that provides the foundation for great handling. As an example, more than half the structure of the vehicle is built from high-strength steel. As a result, the structure is light and stiff. This contributes to enhanced performance, efficiency, and safety.
Take the time to learn about the all-wheel control and super all-wheel control systems available on many of our vehicles.